Welcome back everyone. Every year here in the United States, nearly 800,000 people will suffer a stroke. That is one person every 40 seconds and 140,000 will die from it. Some people will fully recover, but for many, and as you may know someone, they will live with a lifetime of serious disability, including lasting deficits and the ability to move their arms, legs, and hands. But now researchers are using neurotechnology to instantly give patients some of that mobility back. I was 22 years old and I had a stroke. Four more would follow. The fifth and final one was a massive stroke. And the left side of my body was paralyzed. I live one-handed in a two-handed world. For eight years, Heather Rendeluk lost the ability to move her left arm and hand until... And I let it go! <laughs> Heather became the first person to enroll in a study at the University of Pittsburgh Medical Center using electricity to reconnect her brain to her arm. Think of it as the electrical wires between the brain and the rest of the body are cut from the stroke. By implanting two thin neuroelectrodes on the top of the spinal cord in the neck area, neurosurgeons can reconnect the signal. So it allows the patient to communicate once again between the brain and the rest of the body. It feels kind of like a tickle. Within minutes, Heather's brain had found a new way of getting impulses to her muscles. Even at night when she went home and the device was turned off, she continued to improve. It was just so amazing because I was moving my arm and hand in ways that I had it in almost a decade. The trial lasted for four weeks and Heather's implant was removed. She says as soon as it's FDA approved, she wants it. I would be lining up. I'd be the first one at the door, so. <laughs> and you can see why. This technology is already FDA approved to treat chronic pain, but the next generation of the treatment will eliminate the need to remove the device. Researchers are hoping FDA approval will make this the first treatment to effectively treat paralysis for people years after having a stroke, giving new hope to people who thought they would never fully recover.